Hey guys, my name is Jarrell Attack, and welcome to the Case 1 Recovery Tutorial. Now tell me, does being in the groove feel like this? Not to worry, with today's guide, I'll show you step by step on how to land on the carrier with the case 1 recovery pattern. Now a few things to note. This is a simplified version of the recovery pattern for VTOL VR. It does have different numbers than normal, but this is what I found fits the model in the game. While you can just simply land on the carrier, I thought that this would be a good challenge for those who can already land normally. Let's get started. Begin the approach at 500 kilometers per hour and 250 meters above sea level. You want to be a little bit to the right of the carrier going in the same direction. Currently there's no way to ask the carrier it's heading, so here I just guessed it to be 100 degrees. And uh, go ahead and put your hook down. Look at your left onto the carrier deck to make sure it's clear. Continue on this path for about 10 to 15 seconds. As you get better, you can shorten up this time. Next up is to break left at 2 G's. Maintain altitude. At 450 kilometers per hour, put flaps to full and gear down. Because with the flaps, the plane will rise up a little bit and you would want to adjust your pull to maintain G's and altitude. Continue to turn until your heading is 180 degrees from which you started. Roll out of the turn and descend to 190 meters. At the same time, slow down until your speed is 320 kilometers per hour. This will automatically bring you to on-speed AOA of 8 degrees. Now look to your left to see the carrier. You want to begin your turn when you can see the round down of the ship. The round down is the white part that rolls off at the beginning of the runway. Bank left at around 40 to 45 degrees and put your velocity vector down until your vertical speed is around minus 10 meters per second. Adjust power so you can maintain 320 kilometers per hour. At halfway, you would want to take a look at the carrier to adjust your turn so you don't overshoot or undershoot. This takes some practice, but this last bit is the most crucial part to nail the landing. If you did it right, you should be able to see the ball on your HUD at the correct level. And you should be properly aligned with the runway. Now roll out and reduce power. There are three things that are most important in the groove. 1. Maintain your AOA of 8 degrees. You can do this by adjusting power and pitch. 2. Maintain the glide slope by referencing the meatball. And 3. Your velocity vector placement. Place the velocity vector on the right of the runway and don't place it over the center line and never place it on the left of the center line. This is to account for the carrier's movement. Just a second or two before you land, slightly roll to the left so that your velocity vector is on the center line. When you hear the wheels land, push the throttle forward so that you don't end up in the water should a bolter happen. Well, there you have it, the case one recovery. That was a lot of information. If you have landed on the carrier, you should give yourself a round of applause. This is not easy. Once again, my name is Jarell Attack. I thank you very much for watching this video, and this is me signing out.